One of the finest things that we can do spiritually is to give ourselves a forgiving heart. To not hold on to the resentment, the anger, the hate, to let it go. And that's really what forgiving means. It means to release or to let go. Now, my friend, if you've been harboring feelings of bitterness, of resentment, of unforgiveness, give yourself this gift. This gift is one that, in truth, no one else can give you. Yet nothing that anyone could give you could ever compare to this. What a gift you can give to yourself. It is the gift of forgiveness. Have old injustices and hurts piled up in your mind and heart. That's what they do. They literally are cumulative. Well, you can absolutely have this condition in you and it can crowd out peaceful feelings and your entire happiness if you let it to the person or situation or the memory that makes you feel this way say in your heart and mean it with all your heart I forgive you I release you therefore I release myself in forgiving others you are accepting the blessings of forgiveness for yourself. And that's what it means in the Bible. In Matthew 6, verse 14 says, If you will forgive humans their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. It's not that God has something against you and that God needs to forgive you. It's that you're allowing the forgiving to happen, and then in your free will, the love of God pours through your being to heal you, to cleanse you, to make you a new woman or a new man. Now you may think, as I have had many people say to me, that it's just too late now. I had an 80-year-old woman say this to me one time. It's too late now. Can't do it now. Held this for 50-some years. Can't do it now. Well, she did it. And she was like a new person, a lighter person. You can do this at any time. And it is not to the other person. It's really to you. And you're letting go of the poison that you've held for so long. This is a great time to do it today, to release these past hurts, to let forgiveness fill your heart. It is a time of remembering again the love of God and who you are connected to, who you are a child of what you were created to be. You weren't created to be a person that holds on to hate, anger, and anxiety. You were a person created to be free.